Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Ray Diaz, one of the TFs for Computer Science E1. Welcome to our video of the week. Today we're going to talk about disinfecting a PC. As you know, all kinds of malware can infect PCs, and there are different tools for addressing different types of malware. No doubt these days, whether in person, uh, through a personal experience, or via news, you've heard about adware or spyware that can infect a given PC. Well, we'll talk about disinfecting adware and spyware using a little nifty program called Adware. Adware and spyware are really undesirable because they tend to eat up system resources, and that's just not a preferred uh, way to run your system. Um, adware is that kind of software which will, uh, for example, bring you pop-ups when you're browsing, uh, unwanted pop-ups, and uh, Spyware uh, surreptitiously records uh, some or all of the activity that's happening on your computer and reports it to a third party. Um, not all adware and spyware is illegal. Not all adware and spyware is ill-intentioned. But some people just don't like it. So let's go ahead and grab uh, adware uh, from its website, install it, and uh, give it a run. You can find Adaware by either going to download.com or to the uh, publisher's website, lavasoftusa.com. Click on the products link and select any one of the versions of Adaware. Uh, just as a personal preference, I do use Adaware Personal because it is the free version and I don't need all the bells, whistles, and other features that are available in Adaware Plus Professional or Enterprise. So I'm going to click on the Adaware Personal link and then I can download it. Once I've downloaded it, I can just double click on the executable to install it. For most folks, when you're running the installation program, just following the uh, default prompts, essentially clicking on the next button every time you're prompted, uh, will work just fine. It only takes a minute or so, or less, to uh, install Adaware, depending on how fast your computer is. Once uh, it has been installed, you're by default prompted to perform a full system scan, update uh, uh, adware definitions, and open the help file. Uh, what does it mean when it wants you to update uh, definition files? Well, um, known adware and spyware components have certain signatures, as they're called, certain common structures. And those structures are uh, stored in a definition file such that when a piece of uh, adware, for example, is running, adware recognizes its structure and then takes action. So I'm going to leave uh, these items checked and click on the Finish button. Um, the very first thing that happens is uh, the help file pops up. And that is essentially like a user manual electronically. Then what happens is that uh, the uh, updated definitions are being downloaded. This is a good thing because as new pieces of adware and spyware are written, um, it's, it's a good idea to get the latest and greatest definitions so that the program can recognize when something unwanted is going on. And once the updated definition has been installed, again, by default, if you kept all the defaults, 
Adware will automatically scan your PC. It will scan uh, whatever's running resident in local memory. It will then uh, check the registry and then the PC's file system. So once Adware has completed scanning, uh, it will let you know whether it's found something or not. As you can see here on the screen, it found two what it's calling critical objects. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Next button, and then click on the Critical Objects tab. It will identify for me what's going on and what kind of object I have here. These are essentially just tracking cookies in and of themselves, not necessarily something bad, certainly not something malicious. But if I want it to be on the safe side, I can check the objects, click on Next, and they will be removed from my system. And that's it. As I mentioned earlier, you can download Adaware Personal for free, or you can pay extra for the higher uh, end versions. Um, but no matter how, which way you go, um, you can run this similar in spirit to any um, virus scanning software, making sure that your definitions are current and perhaps occasionally running a manual scan of your computer. Thank you for watching our video of the week.